Who are your favorite death metal bands? I'm curious who will share with me. Subscribe and let me know in the comments. In the meantime, let's start a show. In the next 60 seconds, I'll put you in command of a brand new metal album to stream, but in the last 60 seconds, only the true metal warriors will get a second album from my secret collection. Terry here again, guiding metal music guardians like you to music that you want. If you like what is here on the list, FMR is for you because I review, analyze, and break down the newest extreme releases from my weekly charts so you get the best new metal daily. Last time I reviewed Inhuman Implants by Atoll. Check the last episode for the full scoop and results. Stream them for yourself and see if they are for you. Creation Undone by Mortis Scald is your new album up for a fresh full metal review today. Let's break this down. Before I start, I open the page and I see that there are 10 strong sounding tracks totaling a pretty hefty 44 minutes. The album cover artwork, as you can see, it's a full colored horror theme with custom fonts. I was attracted to it immediately. Classified in Apple Music as Death and Black Metal, between that rating, the album cover artwork, and the song titles, I visualize something heavy, something brutal. My genre description right now is death metal. We'll see in the end during my reveal. Track one opens with pure mayhem, insane rhythms, melodies, and riffs. It's got brutal, fabulous, old-school sounding death and some thrash metal. It's like holy shades of sepultura here. I'm loving it. Track two is Absolute Bliss, the rhythms and mix of rangy melodies and harmonies wrapped in scorching full instruments with primitive vocals is just really nice. Track three, it's another flurry of fiery rhythm, scathing vocals, and that big razor sharp guitar sound. It's rapture at this point. Track four is Just Thunder, the attacking guitar, bass guitars, and percussion are dynamite. Track five, it's another white knuckle death metal adventure, totally hot. The rest of the album, it just kept getting better. It's deep black and it's stuffed with rhythm overload. In summary, it's embarrassing to discover when I looked on the bio that a band like this has been around since 1990 and it slipped under my radar. This is like an all time low for me. This is a death metal masterpiece, this album itself. The recording and sound quality here was pro. It was clear, it was balanced, it was full from top to bottom. The production and musicality, it was raw yet refined in my opinion. I rate the overall level of rhythm and tempo as immense while the harmonies and melodies were more in the midway area. This is my this is to my liking. The lyrical theme here I find is about destruction. Becoming a mainstream or radio act here is not going to be a possibility. The range, flow, and layout of this album, it's consistent, and the tracks are arranged with absolute care, I find. They're meticulous. I describe the vocals here as beastly, and it's actual singing vocals. It's not fry or gutturals. This brings me back to the 90s when the, the, the Pantera and the Sepultura style vocals were in there. They were very intense. The guitars I describe as rich, razor sharp, full of riff and solo work. The bass section was big and full. Finally, the drums and percussion performance was absolutely massive. There is no samples or sound effects here that I could hear. The overall energy and intensity was super high. They remind me of Sepultura. AI says that they're closer to autopsy or entombed. Okay, well, we'll go with that. I rate the temperature here as hot with a dark tonality feel, while the overall color or colors I personally describe as red line red. General feeling I had during this session was a white knuckled electric ride. It led me to give this album a huge seismic reading of 8.7 on my Richter scale. I'm going to throw this one into my top rotation, I believe. Uh, the, my reveal at this point, my prediction from earlier was death metal. And my final genre description, it sticks. It's still death metal. 
The official bio says death metal means I was on point here. My favorite tracks? Not a single bad track. The, the entire list is complete gold. And of course, it's going into my library. And a reminder, lastly, for you guys, please stream them for yourself. And that is it for another episode of FMR. And I'm going to dig into my treasure chest and recommend Blackened Cerebral Rifts by Dead and Dripping to pair up with Morta Skull's album here just for you, just to say thanks for hanging out with me today. And that's it for today, my friends. Remember to support your favorite metal artists, stream them, engage them on social, buy the merch, see them live, and join me again soon for another episode of FMR. Please hit that subscribe button because metal music matters. I just want to help. Then set up your notifications so you can get your new album recommendations here first every day. Cheers, and we'll talk to you next time.